All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's jump right into this one. This is Monomaniac Esports versus Team Dignitas. While we wait for the players to load in, let me tell you my play big, win big players to look out for. For Dignitas, it's got to be Skara. He's in a pretty tough lane. Morgana's going to be able to push him to the tower very easily. It's going to be up to Skara to minimize Paradoxical's roaming potential. If he can keep Morgana in his lane, he can protect his side lanes as well as his jungler. So that's going to be something to look out for. For Monomaniac, it's going to be Nintendude on Olaf. He's playing as the jungler. He's going to be against a very aggressive counter jungler in Dr. Mundo, and he's a very aggressive player in his own right. So we're going to see if he can maximize his potential as well as minimize what Dr. Mundo can do for him. Players is loaded in, so let us jump right into things. Let me remind everybody that this is a low replay file, so I will be forced to focus in on Nintendude, but we will check in on the sidelines as much as possible. As you can see, the health bars are not always updated, so it can be a little difficult. We see some aggressive pings going on. I do think Monomaniac is going to invade. They're saying, hey, Pixel, go ahead and throw a ward at the Wraith camp so we can check for counter invades, and we'll have to see if we can sneak a red out here. I have four members of Monomaniac grouped up, and we actually see Scar. Can he see them? Oh, he gets a cute and auto attack for half his health. I don't think Scar is running armor runes. Why would you go in mid lane? Especially as somebody like Ryze, he might be running some mana, maybe has some magic resist. He might have a little bit of armor, but Zion Spartan is definitely running attack damage runes, so he did take a nice little chunk out of him. If I Will Dominate did want to start red, he will have switched over now. I think they're going to have to CV and try and find out where he is. They do know that he's not going to be in their area right yet, unless he's coming in through the bottom brush. But, in fact, there he is, sitting pretty at the wolf camp, and... Um, it would make very little sense for them to invade without Skara. Skara does have a large part of their CC at level 1. In fact, he has all of their CC at level 1 with his snare. Kogma and Zig and Pixel, they're going to back off. No reason to keep three people here. Don't want to lose any experience in the laning phase. If Dignitas wanted to fight here, it would be 3 5 even though Locust has thrown a ward at the Wraith camp as well. Man, Monomaniac is going to go ahead and clear the Wraith a little bit. They're going to leave a little one, which is a very smart play if you are counter jungling. You want to leave one of the little camps left, but for the large camp like the red buff and the blue buff, you're going to want to clear those out so you know when they respawn and be able to group up and go ahead and take those. You can see they're going to finish clearing this out, and then he's going to know when that will respawn. It does look like about 209, so about 709. In fact, yes, 209. At 7.09, they will group up and probably fight. In fact, we see I Will Dominate coming in for a little counter jungling of his own, but thanks to that ward from Pixel, they're going to know. So, bot lane is already moving up to stop him. Paradox is coming down as well with Nintendo closely behind. They're saying, you're not going to take this. We took yours, but we'll fight for ours. I Will Dominate at half health, which is one of the problems that Dr. Mundo faces early. He is going to get a little bit low, but he does have the ability to sustain himself. Nintendo does ghost to go for the kill. Zig goes for the flash, and oh, that is not good. Pixel actually picks up first blood, and that is really not ideal. By flashing over the double buff wall, Zig is saying, I want this first blood, and I am going to get it. But Pixel picks it up, and in fact, loses double buffs because of that, as well as two summers being used. So in that sense, I Will Dominate does kind of come ahead a little bit and not to mention I will cutie pie has just been sitting here farming the whole time so their bot lane will in fact level a little bit faster Nintendo just gonna go ahead and clear up his wraith camps as Zion Spartan and Voy Boy kind of harass each other a little bit this is a lane that's a little interesting Zion Spartan might win this lane early but as the levels start to rack up and items start to be bought. Voiboy will be able to sustain the harassment in fact will scale a little bit better Zion Spartan on Lee Sin might get a little bit tankier than Boy Boy on Vlad, but his damage output is going to be significantly less. Let's take a look at bot lane. CS is 14 to 15, so Kogma actually farming up quite well. He's actually level 2, Amicupi is level 3, so there is that where it comes into play. Mid lane, Skara is going to try and force him as much to stay in lane as possible. Morgan had already pushed in the tower and went back for a Doran's ring. Uh, I have Paradoxal actually does 
A very interesting build, usually with his Morgana play, goes Double Dorant into Death Cap, where a lot of players will actually get in early Zonias for that ultimate, where she can stun five people and become immune. Nintendo coming in for a gank here on Boy Boy. Boy Boy is level four, so he should be able to just pull away. There it is, and not too much of an issue there. He will swing around, though. This is one thing about Vladimir that you have to realize as a jungler. When it pulls down, it does have a fairly long cooldown, and as I believe, yes, Boy Boy took go, so he's not going to be able to flash away. He is susceptible to a little bit of damage. Nintendo just going to kind of stick around, and in fact, it does look like Paradoxal coming up as well, so Nintendo going to stick around, something Nintendo does a lot. He sticks around, kind of overstays his welcome. Sometimes it's a bad thing, but a lot of times it does help out his team, because you usually think that he's going to back off. Boy Boy has his pool up by now, so he's just going to walk away, no problem whatsoever. Take a look at bot lane. Going to have to just use the scoreboard as much as possible here, just because it is a little bit difficult to see health bars and harassment. I, I will dominate how he do it. He's level 4. Olaf is level 4 as well, but does look like he is ahead right now. Has managed to pick up a buff. Uh, as, his own as well so I will dominate did manage to take the red buff so they did he did get that experience denied to Nintendo but overall I do think that first blood helps monomanic quite a bit even though they did lose out on some experience Zig is now in a 2v1 situation which is good in the sense that if he is able to farm he can make up for that lost experience that he uh, missed when he went out to fight I will dominate in the jungle, but I'm a cutie pie doing a very good job of denying him experience zoning him a bit right now Mid lane we see paradoxical just throwing down that tormented soil just trying to push scar to tower force him to farm there Maybe be allowed to roam a little bit and let's see how the farm is 35 to 36 So they're about even right now, which is always good and Nintendo coming in. Oh, there's so much slow on Logos. Is he gonna fall? Yes, he will Reckless swing is gonna just say goodbye to you there is another kill for us. Zig is just going to continue to farm up. Kog'Maw, a very strong late game champion. He will do more damage than Ash with less items thanks to his W, giving him percent based damage as well as some additional range. So given of Janus Shield, he will actually be in a better position. Paradox using that Black Shield to negate some of those Qs from Rise. I will dominate to show his face mid. He is level 5, so is Nintendo, so they're about the same right now. Zion Spartan is just going to try and harass Void Boy a little bit. That's a lane that, like I said, I do believe that Void Boy will end up winning an outright, but initially that uh, Zion Spartan will have an advantage. I will dominate, just absolutely gets face rolled. He is down. Nintendo and Morgana pick up that kill. They're going to say, hey, let's go ahead and do Dragon. They don't have their smite up. We do have Kogma to try and keep them in bot lane a little bit, and we do have the damage from. Olaf, oh, the dragon did reset, but it doesn't seem to be too much of an issue here. I don't think Nintendo, I will dominate, is just up now. He might be able to get there in time. does look like they're doing it pretty quickly, though. I think they're just going to let them have this, if they even know that they're doing it. Nintendo getting a little low, though, so he might have to stop tanking dragon for a little bit. In fact, he is walking away to the safety of their blue area, and he's just going to pick up that. Zion Spartan does a little counter jungling of his own, so a nice little play there. Taking a page out of Darian's book from M5. Coming around on Boy Boy from behind. You're going to see. Do a little bit of harassment there. Getting a little bit of a fight here. I don't think Zion Spartan wants to fight. He's going to kick him away. Not really sure the health bars right now. But I do think that Boy Boy is okay. In fact, he's going to drop his ultimate. They're both kind of low. But Zion Spartan is saying it's a level 1 ultimate. I can shield that. No problem. Does look like. Monomaniac just saw them pick up blue buff, so they know when that is up as well, as well as Dragon, so we'll be able to see them group up for that in about five minutes. Maybe see our first team fight of the game. Scar now has blue buff and actually decided to go for Catalyst of the Protector rather than an early tier of the Goddess. I like this play. Against the Morgana lane, you do want to stay in lane a little bit longer, so the sustain given from the... the effect of catalyst every time you level you get a little bit of health and mana back as opposed to what you gain from tier of the goddess i think it overall benefits scar especially when he already has blue buff he doesn't need that additional mana regen from the tier 
and the additional man at wild knives is not something that he's really going to need too much. Nintendo and I will dominate, kind of find each other at the Wraith camp, and I will dominate, picks up the big Wraith with the cleaver, so Nintendo is going to lose that on a little bit of experience there. Paradoxical went up top, but nothing doing there, so I'm just going to come back here and farm up a little bit. Blue buff is up, so we'll probably see that going on Paradoxical very soon. We see Nintendo going over there right now. How's the farm going on for I'm a Cutie Pie? He's at 65 to 62, so he's ahead a little bit. But thanks to those two assists on Kogma, he is ahead in items by, in fact, two Dorn's Blades and already picked up a little wards as well. So, Automaniac in pretty good position right now because overall they are scaling. Janna already has her Philosopher's Stone thanks to that first blood, got an extra 400 gold. So nothing going to have a problem there. See, Nintendo kind of coming up top, not really sure why. Don't think Void Boy's there, but... In fact, I will dominate there, so they're going to say, hey, let's just dive, and we're both level 6. In fact, you're level 8. He might be level 7. He's kind of power jungled his way to be ahead of me, but we're just going to kill him. Ignite goes down. The Reckless Swing is not going to need to be needed. Nintendo getting a little low. Zion Spartan is going to save him with the shield, so beautiful play by Monomaniac. Just picking up a kill. Paradoxical do a little bit of harassment on Scar. Scar is going to throw down some harass of his own. In fact... Dr. Mundo, those losses of his buffs kind of hurt him. Not only is he 0 and 3, he only has Ninja Tabby as opposed to a Riggle's Lantern. Riggle's Lantern costs about 1,600 gold, so you can see the money difference there. Not to mention that now, Z now Nintendo rather, has 2 kills, 2 assists, and the additional 190 gold from Drive. In fact, it's 200, and he gets the last hit on it as well. It's an extra 25, so... Monomaniac does have the gold advantage right now. See big wave coming up here for Zion Spartan to pick up. But Dignitas, not, certainly not in a bad position. They are able to come back from this, I think, fairly easily. Boy Boy started off Cloth 5. He now has his revolver. So he's going to be able to sustain a lot of the harassment from Zion Spartan. Zion Spartan actually has two Negatron cloaks. I'm sure one of those is for Mercury Treads. One for Hex Drinker, which he will likely turn into the Maw of Malmortius. Beautiful item on... On any tanky DPS, but against double AP, it is beautiful. The lower you get, you will gain more attack speed based on the percentage of health that you are missing. And it gives that nice shield as well from the Hexdringer, where if you fall below a certain percentage of your health, the shield will proc and you will not take damage. So, a lot of shields on this team. You see Paradoxical has his black shield. Janna, of course, has shields. And so... You, and, of course, Lee Sin has a shield as well, so now you add in the Hex Drinker shield. You're going to have a lot of safety here. As you see, the Pink Ward is a beautiful placement. They're not going to be able to know Nintendo just here, and, in fact, they're able to push up now, and Nintendo can kind of sneak into that bush, and they won't know. Problem is, I'm a Cutie Pie does have Hawk Shot, so they will be able to get vision of that bush, and it does seem a little suspicious to me that... Monomanic is pushing up, so I think I'm a Cutie Pie might know. If not, he can certainly just throw a Hawk Shot down when it is off cooldown, which I, I think it might be. In fact, there it is. I'm Nintendo gets spotted, so he's wasted a fair bit of time here. And uh, Dr. Mundo is actually still ahead of him in levels thanks to his power jungling. He is up by about 20 CS or so. So I'm not really sure how much experience that's going to use. But the thing with Dr. Mundo, which really makes him a solid jungler right now, not only does he clear camps really fast, but when he hits level 6, he never has to go back. He gets that heart of gold for some extra money. But he can just throw down that ultimate, which is on a very short cooldown, gets a lot of health back. We see Sar Scar going back, and Paradoxical is pinging up top. He says, let's go in on this boy boy, see if we can't harass him down a little bit. So about half health, I don't think it's going to matter. Throws down the... Binding misses. I think the tribush might be warded. Boy Boy did play that very safe, but we'll, we'll not really sure. Can't really tell. But Boy Boy gonna get out of that no problem whatsoever. Scar is level 10. He says 112 CS. In fact, ahead of Morgana right now, so he is doing his job right now, playing big, trying to help his team out as much as possible. Bot lane has a nice little push going on, but Zig's gonna be able to get there, get a little bit of it if the tower doesn't clear it first. We see Locust and I'm a Cutie Pie gathering it around dragon blue buff is up paradoxical knows this he throws a ward over the wall so they're going to be able to spot this in fact i do believe that there's boy boy or somebody there. oh he picks it up with the binding beautiful play by paradoxical manages to get the bind picks up blue 
They did see Boy Boy in the bush, so they do know that all of Monomaniac is down. Dragon is up. We may see our first team fight. Zion Spartan is closing in the gap. Boy Boy is now in mid lane, so they know. And they're going to say, hey, let's go ahead and do this. Hawkshot goes down. They're going to drop a pink ward to see if they have any vision. Right now, I'm a cutie pie, and I will dominate. Just going to throw down some harassment, try and stop them from getting this. Nintendo's going to pick it up. And now, Monomanic is going to say, let's go in for the fight. I'm a cutie pie gets nailed and absolutely gets melted. Down goes I'm a cutie pie. Five kills to nothing and two dragons for Monomaniac. Nintendo coming up behind Locust, and he's saying, hey, let's dive. Locust doesn't have any escapes. He's running exhaust and heal, so they might have double heal bottom, but... Nintendo has slows, Zig has slows, Dr. Mundo's going to show up, oh, Logos really has to throw down some heals to survive right now. I will dominate Pops' ultimate as well, they both get really low, but Monomaniac's just going to back off, say, you know what, this is not really worth fighting, let's just go ahead and back out, we can put some damage down on their tower, maybe take that if we so desire, allowing us to have our bot lane kind of roam a little bit, but on the flip side of that, I'm a cutie pie, if this tower goes down, the wave is going to naturally push a little bit, and he's just going to freeze that lane and allow himself to get back into this game. He is a little bit behind in terms of items and farm right now. Kogma has a pickaxe over him, but when you have two dragons, a kill, and two assists, it's really going to be able to make up for that. Scar right now has his Tier of the Goddess, so he's starting to get a little bit tanky right now. He's got his you know core mana items. He's going to now believe, I believe, just kind of farm up, try and get tanky because he's not a true AP carry in the sense that you see Paradoxical, he kind of has damage items, whereas Skara has none. Rise kind of scales with mana rather than damage, so his, his AP ratios are quite low, I believe. His Q is like 0.2, something along those lines. So there's no real necessary to build him quite damage, you just want to throw some... Uh, mana on him, get tanky, and just be a real problem that way. I think Nintendo accidentally got a Wriggles proc when he didn't want to, picked up blue buff for himself. Paradoxical still has one though, so it's not too big of an issue. And of course they have denied that to Skara and the rest of Dignitas as a whole. Oh, Dominate just kind of chilling out mid. Doesn't really want to get into a fight right now. Not only is it 2v1, but Paradoxical three levels ahead of him. Nintendo level 9 as well, so they might just kind of throw down some damage on this tower. They land the bind on I will dominate, but that's not going to result in anything. Bot tower might go down sometime soon, but mid lane I think is where the focus needs to be. If you get rid of this mid tower, you get control of the buffs, the red buff and the blue buff, and that's really going to help you. Of course, bot tower will of course give you that dragon control, which is ever so popular early on. Scar is going to have to flash away, but Nintendo is going to just... Oh, oh, so he's going to not be able to get CC'd. Zion Spartan's just going to fly in. He's going to say, I'm going to get this kill. But what cost? In fact, he gets really low. Takes a little bit too many tower at shots. I will dominate. It's going to get stunned. But Paradox goes low as well. Gets exhausted and silenced. Dr. Mundo, I will dominate. Gets a double kill. Might bring him back into this game. I'll have to see. Nintendo really couldn't do anything. He was caught in bad position. I don't really understand why Zion Spartan felt the need to dive Skara. Skara, yes, he has 135 farm. You don't want him to get too tanky. I do believe that's going to be that Sapphire Crystal is going to be a Glacial Shroud, but I don't think it was really worth it to say give Dr. Mundo a double kill. Dr. Mundo, as the game goes on, if he starts to get items, he's going to get really, really tanky. He's going to be this really beefy front line that I, I'm a cutie pie, can sit behind Scar is going to get really tanky. Vladimir is actually going to be very tanky in his own right, too, because of his passive. The more AP he gets, the more health he gets, and vice versa. They don't stack with each other, but he will, in fact, get tanky uh, when Morgana will not. And as you can see, Morgana is, in fact, going for that early death cap as opposed to the early Zhonyas. Zig is just going to pick up red buff. Great pickup for him. I don't think that Nintendo really needs it at this point in the game. He's picked up heart of the gold he almost has his Aegis of the Legion as well but that red buff on Kogma add in with the all of the CC that Janna brings to your team all that extra utility that's a lot of free damage some slow some true damage and if Kogma just procs that W that he has that's even more damage he's gonna throw down on I'm a cutie pie who is a champion with no true escapes of her own besides that flash which while well, Ash has one of the few 80 carries that brings initiation to the table that lack of an escape makes her a little bit outclassed right now that from most other champions 
Kog'Maw doesn't really have an escape of his own. That slow is really powerful though, but if you can position yourself well, Kog'Maw can do incredible amounts of damage. Monomaniac is just going to say, hey, let's just take this blue buff. It's free. We'll give this one to Paradoxical because we stole our own by accident, so no big problem there. I think Dragon is going to be coming up soon. It does look like Monomaniac is kind of sticking around. Paradoxical for sure. Kog'Maw is just going to say, hey, let me just grab this farm because... Well, let's face it, I'm Kog'Ma. If I get items, that I'm going to do a ton of damage. In fact, I'd see it right now. He already almost has his Infinity Edge. I'm a Cutie Pie, only has his BF Sword. Mid Tower is now down, giving Monomaniac that roaming potential with Paradoxical, which he already had. He was able to push that tower very easily. I'm not really sure on the timer of Dragon. It has to be soon, by the way. They're all kind of gathering around here. Nintendo is going to say, hey, just let me grab race. It's not up just yet, but, oh, I'm a cutie pie. is going to get caught out. Paradoxical is going to have to flash away. Jan ult is used as well. He's actually quite low, but they did manage to pick up a kill on I'm a cutie pie. And Dignitas is kind of a little low. Scar, I think, is just over half health. I think the same with uh, Locust, but they have heal there, so there's not too much of a problem. They have a pink ward in that bush, so they're going to be able to clear that out. Paradoxical kind of in a bad position right now. In fact, takes a cleaver. It's going to have to get double shield in order to really fight right now. I think that the aggressive playstyle of Monomaniac is really showing here. They are known for taking some aggressive dragons, some aggressive barons. And well, Paradoxical really low. And Dignitas knows this. Dignitas isn't in the greatest health right now. It is 3v4. But they are, they are in fact able to fight 3v4. And I think I will dominate picks of the Dragon Steel. So... Beautiful play by I Will Dominate. Allows him to stay, you know, they get the one dragon back. They are still down two. Zon Spartan kind of kind of doing a little counter jungle, but sees this nice little farm wave. Doesn't want Scar to push up too much. It says, hey, I'll just farm this up. No problem whatsoever. And we'll see another fight for Dragon in about 25 minutes or so. 25, 20. I'm not really sure exactly when it's picked up, but around then. And if not Dragon, we will see a Baron around that time. It's kind of getting to that point in the game. Void Boy, Boy farming, farming up. Now has his Will of the Ancients working on a Rylives to get a little bit tankier as well. At this point in the game, if he and Zion Spartan kind of get into an engagement, he can just shrug off all of that damage. He's got a lot of health and that sustain. And Zion Spartan, the shield gives him a lot of lifesteal, but it's not enough, I think, to really just trade with Void Boy. And it's really not necessary and I think at this point in the game Void Boy is in a situation where he can just farm I don't think Monomaniac is really gonna throw out all they have at him for a gank he can just walk away he's got pool he can ghost away if need be and like I said he does have that will of the ancient so he can just say in fact look at that he's full health his E is gonna slowly wear down his health but it also increases the healing potential that he does Pixel has a oracles right now so he's going to be roaming around kind of clearing wards taking away vision from Dignitas and I don't think they know in fact they have no idea where they are. Void Boy is actually going to get caught out lands the bind but pulls right away. Pool is kind of a bad situation as well he is going to lose 20% of his current health so if he does it early on it's a lot of damage lost. Morgana picks up the kill. Scar is going to come in now. I will dominate right behind it. Arrow comes in but misses lands on Pixel who is black shielded so no problem there. Zion Spartan getting a little low, but he should be able to just safeguard away. He does. Nintendo gets in here as well. He's going to say, let's fight. I'm here, guys. Zig following up right behind. So is I'm a cutie pie. Locust falls. I will dominate. Getting low. His ult is down, and he's going to fall to Zig. Zion Spartan is low as well, but he did get that shield. He's going to come in. Oh, no. He falls through the flash. Gets baited into Skara, and I'm a cutie pie who will pick up that kill. But... It is a 3 for 2 swing, I believe. No, just 3 for 1. So, good swing, good exchange by Monomaniac. And they're saying, hey, let's Baron. This is the aggressiveness that we have seen. Skara, in fact, going to get caught out here. He is seen. Going to land a bind. Yes, he will. And there goes Skara. There is nothing that Dignitas can do right now. Even if they knew that Monomaniac wanted to do Baron, they don't have vision. And it is a 4v4, but... Lee Sin is going to be up much sooner. Mono Maniac is getting low though, but thanks to the Infinity Edge and the W proc on Zig, they are going to be able to clue this really quickly. They do have Tormented Soil as well as Wriggles as well. Smite goes down. 
Monomaniac now has Baron. They are in full control of this game. Two Dragons, one Baron. And Dignitas hasn't scored a tower yet. Dignitas, or Monomaniac rather, has two. So that is really putting their gold advantage ahead. Rise starting to get tanky, but at this point I would think that it might be a little too late. Glacial Shroud is going to negate some of the attack speed from Kog'Maw, but it's not going to be enough to, say, deal with Lee Sin and Olaf, who can just rush him. If Paradoxical lands a bind, he's going to lose a lot of health. He doesn't have a Negatron Cloak. He doesn't have magic resist, except for probably his runes. Zig, once again, going to get a red buff. I believe he just refreshed his. I think he had one already, thanks to the kill he got on Dr. Mundo. Not entirely sure. Both teams have an Aegis now. In fact, Zion or Nintendo just picked his up. They know that blue buff is up, but I don't think they're going to fight for it. I don't think Nintendo can get there anytime soon. I think they're just going to say, well, surrender this one. We have Baron. Towers are more important. In fact, yes, Skara does have blue buff. So Zion Spartan pushing up top lane right now, doing a split push, which something you could do. In 4v5, they do have the kind of poke where they can take down a tower, they have wave clearing capabilities with Paradoxical and once Nintendo gets there his axe will be able to do that as well. Wow, Locust takes a binding to the face and over half his health is now gone. That is a lot of damage just thrown out for free. Now, Zion Spartan stopped split pushing, not really sure why, I think that he could have continued to do that. I believe Monomaniac has the ability to just siege this tower very easily. It's under half health right now and they can easily just poke this down with Kogma. Zig does a lot of damage. In fact, look at this tower just fall. And that's just with an infinity edge. It just shows how much damage they can do. Bot lane and top lane are both pushing. They're saying the bot lane has more of a push. Let's go down there. Rai is going to throw down his ultimate and do a little bit of damage, but Zion Spartan well over half health. His safeguard iron will combo going to be more than enough lifesteal to bring him up. In fact, he's already full health thanks to the life shield he already has with his double Dorans as well as his shield. I, they have a nice ward here to stop them from being flanked, though I don't think that they really could. They do have the advantage in a 5v5, and Dignitas doesn't really have the initiation to come around. They really need the Ash Arrow to land. Zon Spartan getting a little low, but is able to safeguard out no problem. And like I said, they need the Ash Arrow to land. They don't want to get into a fight 5v5 as long as Monomaniac has Baron. They are just going to try and save as many towers as possible. And Kog'Maw is just going to continue to throw down his auto attacks. In fact, half the tower debt health is already gone. They're just going to say, we don't need matter. The arrow goes down. Pixel gets low, but he did pop heal, so there's no problem there. Uh, ult goes down as well. Zion Spartan gets really low. Is he going to be all right? Is, it does look like these shields are going to save him. Shirelius gets popped, so they are going to be able to get out no problem. Paradoxical is full health. He's saying, I can kind of hold off this area while you guys escape. Zion Spartan getting a little bit of his life steal back. Though CV goes down. I'm a cutie pie. Will he fall? Oh, he does. Beautiful CV from Pixel. Paradoxical lands the Tormented Soul as well as the Dark Binding, and then the ultimate goes off, securing the kill on I'm a cutie pie. Monomanic is in... Heavy control right now of 12 kills to 3. They are easily going to take this inhibitor, which is going to give them even more map control than they already have. They're able to just roam around. They're going to say, let's go take Dragon for free. They are already pretty much full health right now, thanks to Baron buff, the regen from that. There will no certainly not be a fight for Dragon that will give them 3 Dragons to 1. Baron, I believe they have 6 towers. Yes, they have 6 towers and an inhibitor. So, Baron buff should almost be up, but... It's not too much of a concern for them. In fact, it has popped in three minutes. It will be up, so they will gather for that. I believe Dignitas is going to have to make a play for it. They're in very bad situation right now. They are behind in Global Gold. They are ahead in farm a little bit, but the minuscule amount of farm they are ahead does not equal the items that caught that. I mean, look at Kogma, Infinity Edge and Inf Phantom Dancer to Infinity Edge and a Dagger. The global gold has really started to stack up. The three dragons, that's 3,000 gold right there. Towers, 150 each a piece. That's six. Plus Varen is 300 to every member. They are in control right now. In fact, they have two people at level 16. Doesn't even look like Dignitas has any. I'm not sure how close Void Boy is. He should be close. In fact, he just hit it. He has Rylize now, so he's a little bit tanky. But, well... Oh, 
Zion Spartans, the level 3 ult doesn't really matter unless he can get in on I'm a Cutie Pie, kind of kick him right into the rest of his team. The Paradoxical ult, that stun, really powerful. In fact, he actually hasn't gone for Azonias yet. Doesn't look like he's going to be getting one at all. He went for an Abyssal Scepter, has a Blasting Wand. That Blasting Wand can be one of two things, I would think, at this point in the game. It's either going to be a Void Staff, potentially a Zonia's. I would think that the Void Staff makes a little bit more sense, but typically you want to see that Zonia, so you can just kind of flash ult and then automatically pop Zonia's. You can stun five people on your team, but it's interesting that he's not going that route. Paradoxical doesn't do that. Dr. Mundo, I will dominate, does a very interesting build of his own. He maxes his black, or well, not black cleaver, but he maxes his cle infected cleaver first rather than his uh, his W, which most jungle mundles will do. They're going to continue to poke down this tower. Boy Boy going to throw down an ultimate. Is it going to be enough? Zion Spartan is going to be fine. He's got that shield. They're going to pop Sh uh, Shirelias once again. They're going to continue to just in and out engage. Very smart play by Monomaniac. They do have the ability to get in and out. They all have some sort of life steal. So, uh, plus, except for Janna, but she doesn't really need it. And they do have the da oh, damage. Oh, this the ward bait. Kind of interesting. Kind of trying to keep Scar around there. They're going to take this tower. Probably take this inhibitor as well. Scar, is he going to fall? Wow, he's taking a lot of damage. This the, the stun is going to go off. That is another kill. Monomaniac playing a very flawless game. Zion Spartan gets really low. Ignite doesn't take him out, but he's going to have to back off. So, I will dominate. Void Boy going to come in. They're going to say, we have to make a play here. Pixel's going to flash out, but a beautiful Dark Binding is going to manage to keep him alive. The field goal with the arrow misses everybody. If that hit, that would have been very bad for Monomaniac. It was going to hit Paradoxical Pot. Probably get the slow on Pixel as well. So, that could have been two kills that they could have picked up. But meanwhile, bot lane, those super creeps pushing up, taking a tower. In fact, Baron is actually should be up very soon, within the next 15 or so seconds. In fact, it has popped. So Monomaniac is going to go make that play, probably take that uncontested, and just win the game. Dignitas has one tower left. They have two open inhibitors and super creeps pushing in their tower. They cannot afford to fight here. If they lose this fight, Monomaniac can just forego getting Baron and push in for the win. But at the same time, you can't just let Monomaniac have this Baron because if they take it, it's game over anyway. So we see Dignitas kind of pushing up here. Paradoxical throwing out some Dark Bonding. See if he can catch anybody. But the lane is pushing bot. I don't think that you can have a full engage here. Got 5-on-5. Five five. Zion Spartan has a lot of health. He has a Frozen Nallet. He's got his Chain Vest for that Atmos Impaler, if that's what he's going to get. They are not going to be able to fight at Baron mid. Their tower is just getting absolutely destroyed. I will dominate. Actually, has to pop his ultimate. He gets a little low from that harassment. So between Zig and Zion Spartan and Nintendo, they can take this very quickly. There's no way that Nintendo or I will dominate can smite that. Baron has been picked up. That is pretty much good game. Dignitas is going to have to have a last ditch, desperate attempt to fight five v five. Their items are nowhere near as good as Monomaniacs. In fact, Nintendo has a Quicksilver Sash on top of his ultimate. There is no CC that they can possibly throw at him. This inhibitor is just absolutely falling very fast. That is pretty much going to be good game. I think Dignitas is going to have their last ditch effort right here on this open inhibitor. They're going to have to engage, and there it is, the volley. They're just going to try and poke. They're saying we can't fight. It does look like Boy Boy is saying we have to fight. Let's go, guys. Zion Spartan actually gets really low, takes an ultimate, but Janna's ulti is going to save him, no problem. Void Boy gets in there, gets some slow out, but Void Boy is going to be caught out. There goes the Kog'Ma kill. Dominate is very low on his own right, too. He doesn't have an ultimate. Can they take him down? There he goes. The ultimate from Zion Spartan going to pick that up. Kog'Ma gets a double kill. I'm a cutie pie, falls down to another double kill. Who's going to get the triple? Is it going to be Zig or Zion Spartan? It will be Zion Spartan. The good games go out, and that is going to be the game. Monomaniac picks up this one in very dominant fashion. Very tough to pick out a most valuable player from this team. They both, everybody played well. Olaf, perfect game. Janna, perfect game. Absolutely fantastic. Good game to both of these teams. My name is Hein Fiber. Thank you for watching.